हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू मिजो स्टडी वीडियो क्लासेस एंड टुडे एज इट इज मेंशन ऑन दिस ग्रीन बोर्ड वी आर अबाउट टू स्टार्ट अ डिस्कशन ऑफ जेई एडवांस पैटर्न क्वेश्चंस फाइन एंड द टॉपिक इज योर वेल नोन टॉपिक दैट इज इलेक्ट्रोस्टैटिक पोटेंशियल एंड कैपेसिटेंस एज यू नो दिस इज अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक either for your board exams or for your competitive exams and for je advanced pattern this topic is very important reason in this particular chapter they can combine various other phenomena fine so you can able to solve those problems only if you have the conceptual clarity of even few topics of class 11th so just because of the liberty to experiment vary with various questions it's a very very packed topic for examination paper setter fine so let's start this discussion about this electrostatic potential and capacitance here there are basically two topics mentioned one is potential okay and then another is capacitance you as you know both these are self sustaining topic self sustaining in the terms that uh, this one is independent topic this one is independent topic and both these are associated somewhere with electric field also fine so what i have designed in this particular collection of questions i tried my best to represent at least each and every concept by picking good number of good quality of questions fine so let's start this discussion initially i will pick up easy questions then obviously few uh, more interesting question i will not say difficult one and as you know that je advanced pattern means there are various uh, types of questions so in this uh, also we have tried our best to pick up those questions fine so let's start the discussion with first question that is only one option correct fine so here it is your first question now what i will do first i will explain what exactly has been asked in the problem then systematically i will provide you the solution okay assume that an electric field e is equal to 30x square i cap that's why before starting of this first question i mentioned that potential independent uh, topic capacitance independent topic and both are correlated with electric field so that's why i started this discussion with electric field concept now it exists in space okay no problem some charge distribution is given then the potential difference va minus vo with the help of a simple diagram i will explain you where vo is the potential at the origin and va the potential at x is equal to 2 meter so i think first we should try to draw a simple diagram what exactly the question is saying so just take a look like this the question is saying let's this is y axis and this is x axis it's clear from the problem that electric field is along the x axis only fine so what i can say that this arrow is showing the electric field and this is origin o fine now there is a point name s okay and the distance between origin and a is given as 2 meter this complete distance is x and it is 2 meters find this is x now you have to find the difference of potential va and vo now what exactly the basic formula you should try to apply that is the first question that will definitely come in your mind okay so it should be like uh, this way try to recall one relation that was v is equal to e into d what is this relation means the meaning of this relation is potential electrostatic potential is defined as electric field multiplied by the distance which distance 
basically this formula is applicable for the parallel plate capacitors so d is the spacing here d means what here d means this distance so if i want to write down this formula with some sort of makeup then what i can write down i can write down d v what is the meaning of db that is v a minus v o that is v2 minus v1 is equal to e as it is and then rather than writing this d what we should do we should write down d x fine why because this electric field may be possible along x along y along z so that's why in general you use this formula with these three uh, parameters like x y z individually fine but luckily here only x coordinate is provided so no problem just by using this relation i will move further and i hope now few of you who are regularly uh, watching these videos will definitely find that integration of this equation yellow white equation will ultimately give you the result so how exactly we can get the result let me show you now what i will do i will use this space that is v a minus v o fine that we want to find out and here some uh, here is exactly i explained that that is d v fine so what i can write down d v is equal to minus e d x so this is our base formula okay now after this what i am supposed to do I will write down dv <coughs> and integral v o v a. I hope no problem to anyone. Minus integral zero to two. Why zero to two? Because starting is at origin and ending point this x is at a that is two meter. So zero to two and thirty. x square d x fine so from here what we can say as you have this relation so simply you can say v a minus v o is equal to take thirty out so it is minus thirty within bracket x cube over two plus one that is three close the bracket limits are like zero to two fine. from this line let me allow to use some space over here because i just want to show you uh, this uh, final value v a minus v e oh, sorry v o oh, although i hope now almost everyone this particular uh, calculation is clear but just for the sake of mentioning this thing let me allow to write it down like this so over here upper limit minus lower limit so upper limit is 2 2 2 that is 8 By three minus lower limit, meaningless to uh, mention that minus lower limit. So now it is minus three one ja this ten. So that is minus eighty joule. Now few of you may think the teacher is explaining potential and unit rather than volt. The teacher is uh, writing J. Why? Come on, don't forget this concept. This is what. potential difference and potential difference is what w is equal to qv work done so basically any agent is doing this work means putting that charge from origin to a pulling that charge fine so that's why it is in joule here you are not calculating exactly the potential difference but the work done fine so now as it is clear from this uh, option that c is your correct solution fine So now let me allow to erase out this board so that we can get ready for your next problem. And whenever you are solving these problems at home or school for practice, move systematically. This is my simple and humble advice. Reason being, if you start solving these problems during practices with you can say some sort of uh, hurried approach, then what will happen? 
you will not able to concentrate properly and good amount of re, uh, possibilities like uh, you can get a wrong answer. So, this is something which is not allowed at least in examination hall. So, this is first question. Now, go for the second one. Positive and negative point charges of equal magnitude are kept at 0, 0, a by 2 and 0, 0, minus a by 2. Now, specifically I picked these two, three questions without diagrams, reason being if you are able to read the question and visualize the situation in three dimensions means you can draw the diagram then 50 percent of your problem is over fine. So, that is why read the problem carefully this this habit should be with within your approach that is required. So, if it is not there please try to inculcate it. So, what we will do we will uh, take one positive charge and one negative charge and then on x y z coordinates we will place that just for uh, for a second just wait. The work done by the electric field when another positive point charge is moved from minus a 0, 0, 2, 0, a 0, fine. So, first thing visualize this three dimensional space that is this is your three dimensional space x, y and z, fine. Now, 0, 0, a by 2. So, it means x coordinate 0, y coordinate 0, but z coordinate is existing, it has some value. For visualization, you can imagine it in a different way. Let us imagine the room in which you are sitting and watching this video, fine, forget about this diagram. Then take your head up, consider one below line as x axis, one upward line of a corner of this room in which you are sitting y axis and another as this z axis. For example, the studio in which I am preparing this x, y, z three axes are present. Now, first is 0, 0, a by 2. So, if I am putting it over here, you can put the charge at left side of your uh, presence and then you can say it is a positive charge, fine. So, it is a positive charge, okay. Now, 0, 0 minus a by 2, it means next charge is just opposite on the same axis. So, somehow it is like negative charge and very specifically is mentioned in the problem equal magnitude. So, one if plus q another is minus q. Now, is it like that they are forming a electric dipole? Yes. Why? because the distance between these two charges is A, clear? One is positive, another is negative. So, basically this definition is the definition of the electric dipole, okay? Work done by the electric field. Now, what will happen? This positive charge has electric field outward, this way, okay? This, 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 this and this negative charge has electric field inward this way, okay. Now, the work done by electric field of this combination and try to recall that expression, electric field due to a dipole on its axis perpendicular to axis at any point all these derivations. So, it is nothing but the beautiful utilization of that concept. That is why during the discussion of that topic, if you are regularly watching our videos, definitely you will find that both these cases, I devoted two lectures individually for that, okay. So, now, which electric field? This electric field, another positive point charge. Now, positive point charge means these field lines will try to push it, while these point, uh, this point charge negative will try to attract it fine positive negative. So, moved from minus a, minus a means it was earlier, it was earlier this blue line and at this blue line somewhere over here that is negative x axis and then it comes to this way 
okay that is a so what happened what's happening from here this charge is moving at this point okay now imagine this gapping fine so don't you think it is uniform electric field fine because of this charge which is placed uniformly at this distance so whenever you are solving these type of problems argue a lot with all the possible situations because in one of these type of questions at least three four concepts are also hidden so just solve one problem with this argument and at least four or five related concepts you can realize this is the best way of solving these problems so now after explaining the situation what i will do i will solve it over here fine a b these are the points which i am assuming in your room x axis y axis and z axis so a is minus a comma 0 comma 0 at it is given fine and b is what b is your 0 comma a comma 0 fine now v a is equal to v b is equal to 0 many of you will say or few of you may say so the answer is equipotential V A and V B if equal equipotential and work done if you are moving a charge in an equipotential surface is I need not to say fine it is 0 and the reason for this 0 is simply half term I will write down equipotential. So, you can appreciate this problem because without any calculation, it is just trying to check one of your basic understanding, what exactly equipotential surface, what are the properties, fine and this question is directly based upon that. Now, you have two processes to get the correct solution. One is this one line approach, but for this you should also be ready if some calculation is required, let us say if I expand this problem, then you can do that. Otherwise, best approach is this diagram which I explained over here. Choice is yours, both the options, both the processes I explain. fine. <coughs> but then uh, I am sure you can uh, also realize one fact that IIT J advanced pattern exam questions are not difficult anyway. If your basics are clear not all clear you will definitely get the correct options and marks and then finally rank and then you can join any IITs. Here comes your third question. Now while reading these problems in physics each and every word is very important for example over here just take a look uniform electric field fine with the help of uh, one this just take this red color point uniform electric field this entire okay now pointing in positive x direction exists in a reason if you don't want to draw the diagram please don't draw just sit on the chair watch this video and moment it is positive x axis open your eyes and then this way think like this front x axis because if you are visualizing in real world things are going to be really very simple let a be the origin name of origin is rather than o is a b be the point on the axis x axis at x is equal to plus 1 means in right hand side you are moving and c be the point on the y axis that is y positive so at least this space will help me out to draw this diagram in this fashion y x and luckily this value is plus 1 plus 1 so plus 1 means let us say for example this is x fine and this is y direction fine 
small x and small y and the value of small x and small y is given. Then the potentials at points A, B and C. It is like that I have a charge distribution. Let's say for example, this white color chalk is a tip of a charge distribution. Potential over here, something 1 upon 4 pi epsilon naught q upon r. Potential over here, something not a vector quantity scalar only. Here, something else. So, this is the main theme of this question. Whether you have the idea of visualizing the potential and field is not. More beautiful part is, if you are able to find the potential, then uh, very easily you can find the electric field also. Ultimately, your goal is you should predict which one is bigger. V A V B, V A V C. So, there are four options basically, but two ways option. A B A B, A C A C. Fine. So, now let us try to solve this problem. This is my x axis and this is y axis. The same diagram on a bigger format. Fine. This is this way. Let us make them more long. Because basically, I just want to show you what? Equipotential surfaces, nothing else. Fine. So, let me use a different color chalk. Blue color dotted lines equipotential surface fine so v a is equal to v c and i think yes i should use this space v a is equal to v c that is one condition and where is c this is c and and V A is greater than B B. Fine. Why V A is greater than V B? Let us make it on the Y axis. Why to get confused? This is C. Because I am showing you the equipotential lines both sides. So, we should not use this equipotential line as a point. It is not good. It is not advisable. Yes, here you can say. Here, this equipotential line is basically cutting. So, you, you may say that I am putting the mark on the x axis. That is fine. That is not a problem. So, it is C, it is B and uh, no, A, C. So, it is A and it is B. Fine. This was the diagram which I explained. So, now more systematic diagram, but ultimately imagine this triangular shape, this one that is this triangular shape this one fine so now you can say which one is more v a or v b imagine as you keep on moving away potential is bound to decrease why because v is equal to 1 upon 4 pi epsilon naught q upon r so very clearly from this diagram without any confusion you can follow this moment you move at this place less voltage at this place more reduced if you are moving in this direction more value not reduced enhanced value if you are moving in this direction again reduction will start so these type of things while solving just argue with yourself if i will move in this direction okay if i will move in this direction what will happen so this way you should argue with yourself so that you can learn much better techniques of solving the problems fine after this what i will do i'll go for the discussion of this next problem but this problem is slightly twisted i will explain you don't worry but if you find that next problem slightly twisted just try to focus and hope we will able to learn that Question is not bigger one, a very simple question. A capacitor of 2 microfarad is required in an electrical circuit across a potential difference of 1 kilovolt, that is 1000 volts. It is like that. In this room, one day I decided I need a ceiling fan and that too 
uh, having blade size, uh, let's say, uh, with the requirement, let's say, x, x centimeters. Okay. Now, I know what amount is the current flowing, I mean the voltage, what exactly the voltage, if it is in India, then six, uh, 50 uh, hertz voltage, 220 volt RMS value, if it is uh, US, it is 60 hertz and moreover. So, this is the situation, I need a 2 microfarad capacitor and the potential difference is available 1000 volt, ok. A large number of 1 microfarad capacitors are available, problem is, I need 2 microfarad, but it is not available. Only what available I have? 1 microfarad. Then you may simply say, why we are putting so much effort? Simply take out these 2 uh, 1 microfarad capacitors, connect them in parallel and then it will give me 2 microfarad. Come on. You can't do like that. Reason, there is a restriction on the voltage condition and you know Q is equal to CV. So, V is something which is very important for a capacitor. So, do not think like that uh, 2 required, so take 1 plus 1 and it will give you result. No, that will definitely change the uh, this voltage. Then, <coughs> which can withstand a potential difference of not more than 300. See the condition, 1000 kilo volt is available, 1 microfarad large number of capacitors, you said ok, I will pick 2, we will add them in. Uh, parallel formation will get 2 microfarad, but the problem students is this circuit cannot sustain beyond this volt, beyond this volt it is bound to damage, ok. The minimum number of capacitors required to achieve this target, how many minimum number of capacitors required. Now, if you have to solve these type of problems, then say let a small m number of capacitors required. Okay. And there are various rows, row number 1, 2, 3, 4 and so on. And each row has, let us say, n capacitors. So, how many total capacitors? Number of rows multiplied by the uh, number of capacitors in one row, fine. So, I am starting the discussion with this node. Okay. Now, Let let n capacitors let n capacitors uh, in m rows. That is n number of capacitors, say for example, 5, 6 capacitors and there are total 10 rows, this type of combination. Let n capacitors in m rows are connected. Now, second line is, but, but as 1 kilo volt. This is something which is available to me uh, from the circuit. Imagine the situation like this. Let us say I want to recharge my laptop or my mobile phone. So, directly I cannot connect it to the supply. There is a, uh, you can say charger. Whenever there is a charging re uh, requirement for the uh, this uh, laptop uh, or mobile, you do not say give me the wire. You always ask charger. Charger is something that converts AC into DC of the required value because in houses you are getting AC and that too of 220 volt. Fine. So, you have to convert and just touch the charger after some time whether mobile or laptop charger. Let us say after one or two hours, you find it is quite hot just because of this conversion and heat flow. So, as 1 kilo volt is available, but this combination cannot withstand more than 300 volt. Beyond 300 volt, the entire circuit is going to be damaged, fine. So, but as 1 kilo volt is available, fine. So, what we can say n is greater than 10 by 3. What is the meaning of this? That is 1 into 10 to the power 3. So, n is greater than 10 by 3. So, Three point three three. Fine. Now, 
you need two capacitors fine but because of this value you need minimum four this is something which you are trying that is known as the trial and error method now n is greater than 10 by 3 that is n is 4 or 3.3 fine now ultimately let's say ultimately let's say m rows with n capacitor in each is required so ultimately we have to find the equivalent capacitance okay so c equivalent equivalent of that entire combination is given as c into m by n but what is the value of c as given in the problem 1 microfarad fine so if it is given as 1 microfarad and this equivalent is how much what exactly we are asking we are asking for 2 microfarad so use this value 2 microfarad is equal to c m by n don't rush i know that this c value is uh, you can cancel it but don't rush for that so it means what it means m by n is equal to 2 because c is 1 given in the problem so m by n is equal to 2 it means m is equal to 8 as i should not write it but i am even writing for a new student so that there must not be any confusion now n is 4 we just calculated 2 minutes back and m is how much m by n is equal to 2 or m is equal to 8 so ultimately what you will get number of let me allow to use this space number of capacitors number of capacitors m into n that is 8 into 4 that is 32 fine so as such this is not a very difficult one problem but yes some visualization is required uh, i think i should also help you out with a very simple and uh, quickly drawn diagram what exactly that that is let's say one two three and so on let's say there are one two three four capacitors in one row okay this way one more one more so this is four or n and total rows which we assume n so in one four in two eight in three twelve and so on so why i did this m into n just because of that eight rows and in each row there are four capacitors so total 32 capacitors are required fine these type of questions normally asked just to waste your time waste your time means if you don't have good practice and logical um, argument practice definitely you will uh, lose lot of precious time in these type of questions because you may find simple question but problem is somewhere somehow logically you are committing some error and ultimately you will not able to get the correct answer and one more thing i is equal to, uh, i mentioned it uh, n is equal to 4 then i mentioned 3.33 so it is like what 3.33 it is possible 3.33 capacitor either three capacitors or four capacitors so because not exactly three capacitors but some more value so that's why you can't say i will attach 3.33 capacitors you can't break a capacitor that's why i said it is uh, uh, four capacitors it's a common sense fine and don't commit these type of uh, errors multiply 3.33 by 8 now let's come for question number five this question is very plain very simple question fine but it will check your ability of visualizing a circuit thinking in terms of a circuit how let's say <coughs> Okay, first read the question, then complete the diagram. In the given circuit, a charge of plus 80 micro coulomb is given to the upper plate, this one of this capacitor, 4 microfarad. Then in the steady state, steady state means what? Continuous, fine, balancing. The charge on upper plate of 3 micro capacitor is how much? 
what I initially mentioned. This is our thing. So this and this relax. They will not feel any pain. Okay. Problem is with these two persons. Easily you can find out over here. Easily you can find out over here. And as they are saying, you have to find only on this upper plate. Fine. So, just a very simple approach. Let's say it is Q3. Q3 means charge on this 3 microfarad capacitor. And similarly, let's say it is Q2. Q2 means Q2 means charge on 2 microfarad capacitor. Fine. On the upper plates only. Because lower plates are grounded. And that's why very specifically I mentioned this grounding mechanism. So from here what you can say Q3 by Q2 is equal to charge will be redistributed in the manners this uh, capacitance is given. So Q3 by Q2 is 3 by 2. I hope everyone has no problem with this simple equation. Now, Q3 is equal to 3 upon 3 plus 2. I am sure few of you will raise your eyebrows with this relation. And my suggestion is, if it is like this, please at least revise the concept of combination of capacitors, how they are connected. Okay? Definitely, I should not explain it. How? So, Q3 is equal to this 3 into 3 plus 2 that is will give me the value. So, also what is the total charge? 80. Okay, just let me allow to tell you otherwise you will definitely not find uh, this expression very useful. Simple. Charge will be distributed as I mentioned as per the value of the capacitance because the relation is what? Q is equal to C into B. Basic relation. Fine. And now V is what? Because this is a part of the same system. So, Mr. V the, uh, is similar for each one. Only the variation will take place as per the C, C and Q relation. So, that is why I mentioned it. Now, from here very easily I can say this is 3 upon 5. Okay. So, Q3 is 3 upon 5 into 80. Uh, 5, uh, 1 ja 5 and then 5, 6 ja 30. So, 16 and 16 multiplied by 3 will give me 16, 3 ja 48 uh, micro coulomb 48. This one is the correct answer, micro coulomb. One more thing from my side. Please also find the value of charge Q2. Fine. Same formula, only this 3 upon 2. Okay, okay. Let me, let me allow to mention a very good thing, very good exercise that I can mention for all of you. That is uh, Q3, Q2. This is something a small homework type of thing. Whenever you are watching this video, just take out pen paper and try to solve it. What you will mention over here? Because this 80 is going to remain same. These two question marks, you have to put the values. Fine, very simple value. And then Q2, you will get. I am not going to mention it, but try it. Whatever I explained is, that was simple. Try it also from your side. So, students, uh, as you know, uh, advanced uh, problems are slightly tricky, some, some way you can say long problems. So, that is why we in visual study, because we focus only on quality, not on quantity. So, we defined a law that in advanced question uh, discussion, we will not make them very long. Fine. So, this is the first episode of this serial, five problems, next episode, more problems and so on. So, till then, keep enjoying, keep revising. Thanks a lot.